Great graph by my colleague Frank Diana. He talks about how all of these trends that you know about, they're actually combinatorial, which is a funny work. I, I didn't know it existed until he showed me. But it's meaning that it's all converging and coming together at the same time. So not only do we have all this stuff that could put the fear of God into you just by themselves, for example, the Internet of Things, cognitive computing, robotics, artificial intelligence, like reading like, like a script line out of Black Mirror, right, basically. <laughs> not only do we have that, they're actually all coming together. All coming together, converging, being exponential, interdependent. So if you're in the learning business, you need to know about these things. You need to know what's going to happen with uh, smart homes, the connected car, the smart grid, robotics, and so on, because technology will impact every single level of this conversation. And the other thing we have to know is this. We're going to have to figure out what's right or wrong. And that answer isn't black or white. It is a it depends answer. If I can get a quadriplegic to walk again by having giving him an external skeleton, which is possible, cost about a million pounds, eh? and control that mechanism with, the, with his mind, that's fantastic. But the same technology is used for a battalion of soldiers to be able to throw a car over the mountaintop. Right? Same technology. And that is our future, right? It's basically like nuclear power can be used for destruction or possibly for energy, if you agree with that. <laughs> so we have to think about that too. We have to think about technology and if it's right or wrong and what purpose does it serve. A technology that serves itself has extreme catastrophic potential. Yeah, because it basically is self-perpetuating. It gets stronger by the minute. In a way, we have this already with Google and Facebook, right? They're self-perpetuating and we're sort of landfill for them. At the same time, we still get good benefits. So it's kind of a, you know, I call it sometimes hell then, you know, hell and heaven. It, it's kind of both. <laughs>